We've got an A-Rax SA280, size one. Nice short shank, wide gap hook. You can also use like an SL12 and a one knot. It's about similar in size. Just gonna start with the thread base. Just right now, just using just a little bit of thicker thread. This is a 210, Danville flat wax. Gonna build a tail, tail material. We're gonna cut a section about two and a half hook lengths and about the two thirds spot. I'm gonna tie it in right in the back of the hook. Just holding it on top so it doesn't spin. We're simply just gonna spread out the material just to get it back and around. So it looks like it's all evenly distributed. I'm just gonna tie it down. I'm just gonna pull on a little bit, try to get all the hairs evened out and with a nice blended ta taper. I'm give it a little trim at the end. Right now, before we get too many materials going on there, I'm just gonna put a little few bars on it. Just using a black Sharpie. We're gonna be using just one piece of crystal flash. You can use flashaboo or anything that you have. As long as it's just not too much, it should be fine. Going to just put it right on top of this one. This is some extra long or grande estaz. You can also use like longer cactus chenille. Um, just gonna make this as a collar material. Basically, I found this stuff to be some of the lightest, just holds no water. It keeps the gurgler floating up high no matter what. And throws really light, you can really just keep throwing it without having to wear out your arm or put too much effort in. You just wanna get a couple of wraps in. Stuff build up bulk really fast. You just need a couple. Now I'm gonna take the thread on the other side of the material to lock it down. Just tie it down nice and tight, bend it back. Just gonna tie down right on top of it. So we'll make sure it's nice and secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna cut it off. You see any that's stuck in there, you can just pull it out, but it looks like everything's good to go. Before we add our foam, we're gonna put some legs in. I'm gonna go with these silicone legs, just because they add a pop of color. You can use whatever you have, but this particular color pattern against the purple and black, I think looks really good on the gurgler. 
going to fold it across the thread. This one I want to go one leg on each side. Keep it from fouling, but also just kind of make it look a little more balanced. Bend it over on both sides, tie it down nice and loose, and then slowly getting tighter. I'm going to trim these. When I go to trim them, I try to make sure they're nice and even. And then stretch them a little bit. Alright, now we're ready for our foam. When you go to put the foam in, I like to put a little piece of glue in. This does a lot of things, but I think it also makes sure that foam never pulls out if a fish gets on it and with teeth, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be like a little more harder for him to get around it and pull it out with the thread wraps. I just don't feel like it's enough sometimes here. Your foam will probably rip before it'll pull out anyways, but I think I do feel better about it with some glue on there. Just kind of pitch it down and tie it down. It's gonna kind of squish the foam. I think that's perfectly fine. You just don't want it to spin. If the, if the foam spins around the hook, it can cause it to track wrong. Okay. Got a lot of thread on there, that's perfect. Next step, we're going to be using the Simperfly 15 millimeter solid chenille and purple. Just gonna use about but yay much. You just only need about to get a couple of wraps in there. We're gonna tie it in in front of the foam. It's okay if it's messy. That's what this is all about because this chenille is just gonna be wrapped around. The only thing you want to watch out for is getting the chenille to be too much over the eye of the hook and I'm not allowing you to like even put your fishing line through it because it's just too messy. So just pull it back and wrap, pull it back and wrap. Get right to the front of the hook. Put the thread on the opposite side. Just nice, pull it nice and tight, lock it in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back as much as I can and make room because you're gonna bring that foam over. It's tight right here on this point. quick little dab of glue right there on that thread spot. Something to allow that foam just to attach to. We're also going to tie it down of course. So when you're bending it over, you can always trim here if you have it too long. So just make sure you have enough foam on top of the hook to make sure it's going to be a good top water fly. We want it to be popping loud, making all kinds of ruckus on the surface. We'll bend this up like this and put some loops underneath as well. This will kind of give the, the front end a little verticality and kind of stand up and push water versus diving. Um, you don't have to do that, it's just my personal preference. We're going to whip finish. Double whip. Almost done. I think I'm just going to trim this tail a little bit and see how long it is. With too much material. So I'm going to just give a quick trim. When I go in to trim it, I just want to hit it at an angle. 
do the taper. And there you have it, right there. Basic gurgler.